Back now, even as India and Russia stumbled at the last minute on clinching an agreement on purchasing two additional atomic reactors for the Kudankulam nuclear power plant, well, there were celebrations at the plant as the first unit of the 1000 megawatt nuclear reactor was for the first time connected to the southern grid for two hours. Now, this is a big milestone for the controversial nuclear reactor, which has been dogged by local protesters who call it unsafe. Well, let's go across uh, to Sam Daniel, who joins us from Chennai. Sam, a big moment really for Kodankulam. It's been uh, so much in the news. Of You've obviously, of course, covered the protests that have taken place. But uh, today, finally, it is lighting up uh, homes in, in, in Tamil Nadu. That's right, Gargi. Actually, mixed reactions coming from Tamil Nadu. There are many who welcome the development, although it's a testing process. The real power generation and its connection to the local grid is, is there to take place. Many welcome it as a good beginning. But there are many others who are also critical, saying that uh, even now there are protests around Kurunkulam for the 800th day tomorrow. And the way the project has bulldozed public protests, they say, is totally undemocratic. I have with me... Three Chennaites, Vadaganathan, Sundar and Menon, let's talk to them. How do you look at this? Yeah, at last uh, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And it's uh, very good for, for uh, people of Tamil Nadu who are seeing a huge power cut uh, when you go out of Chennai. And uh, particularly uh, many industrial units have been uh, closed, a lot of uh, big, uh, business have been affected in uh, Tamil Nadu. I welcome this uh, move. And uh, many uh, people are talking about the safety measures. I, I would like to say here this uh, people are comparing about the Japan uh, incident. See that is uh, that project was a uh, beach faced uh, project where this is not a beach friendly, it is uh, constructed on a solid terrain right. and it is not on a tsunami prone zone right. or a low and it is in the lowest seismic uh, right. zone. So we don't have any problem on safety concerns. Right. And uh, our honourable uh, former president, uh, Mr. Abdul Kalam, has visited the plant and had a discussion and he has right. given a clear sheet. Right. And also, Mr. Banerjee, right. who is the head of the nuclear right. program, has also right. given a clear sheet. Menon, how do you look at this? Like, for example, in Chennai, we had several hours of parkets, other districts up to 16 hours every day. I'm glad this happened. This will reduce the power cuts. I remember once upon a time, people used to study under streetlights. So this can be solved. This is overdue. And it's high time more such plants came up to generate power because power is essential for welfare of the people. Right. Thank you. Uh, you belong to the Puvalag and Anbargal group which actively campaigns against the plant the way it's being implemented. What are your key concerns at this point? Two committees have recommended, have concluded that the plant is absolutely safe. Uh, see, uh, the people are struggling there. The project effort people are struggling there for 800 days today. I mean, they are the people who will be affected if there's an accident in the plant. So it's absolutely undemocratic to start the plant now. Even the starting itself is a total farce. This is a scene in the 70, mo 70 months of drama that electricity will be produced from Kudangulam. It's totally farce. They cannot produce electricity from Kudangulam. Why do you say so? Because it's all substandard components. We have given proof the company which the procurement director of the company which supplied parts to Kudangulam has been arrested in Russia for providing you know, low quality steel to manufacture these plants. There are instrumentation issues. There are steam generation issues. Lot of issues but are experts there. have concluded that these are unfounded. But don't you think electricity requirement for a state is of paramount interest than... Everybody has got a right to ask for electricity, but nobody has got the right to ask for electricity from Kodangulam plant. Nobody has got that right. It's the people who have to decide what kind of project that they should come what near. What are your the concerns even now from the people's point of view? No, it's safety, environment, health aspects. You know, all, all these three has to be taken into account. We, we saw Sindhu Rakshak. What happened to Sindhu Rakshak? Till now, 480 MiG aircrafts have crash landed. After our, our President Abdul Kalam flew in a MiG aircraft, 13 aircrafts have come down. We have lost lives. If such an accident is going to happen in Kodangulam, the entire South Tamil Nadu and South Kerala will be wiped out. We have got experience in Fukushima. Even today, there is a report that radioactive water has leaked into Pacific Ocean. The, the, there's a whole question hanging about conducting Olympics in Japan. If Today, they are starting a process of building a frozen wall under the Fukushima plant. If that fails, entire Japan will have to be evacuated. That's the status now. We have to understand from mistakes that have happened in the history. We have to, we have to learn, learn from the mistakes right. that happened in the history. We are not doing that. It's right. very unfortunate. Thank you all for your time. So that's uh, the mood here, many welcoming it, but people are also expressing concern over the way the plant has really been bulldozed uh, over the public protest there. Uh, so we'll have to wait and watch when this plant will really reach its full capacity and when that will actually start supplying power to the main grid here, Gargay.